formation damage is a catch-all expression that is supposed to define near well flow impediments. The near well zone becomes extraordinarily important and that near well zone does get damaged. Anything we do, damage it. We drill, we damage. We complete the well, we damage. We uh, stimulate sometimes and we damage. Anything foreign that we introduce into the reservoir, sometimes trying to solve a problem, it creates a second bigger problem. So that's the whole idea of formation damage. One of the important things that we do, of course, is to connect the pipe. These sections are connected together through threads, and the threads, in order to be able to actually be facilitated on the rig that we are actually working at the time, we traditionally have used a compound called a dope. The problem with this dope has been experimentally determined to be a major damaging extraneous fluid to the formation. First of all, dope, which is an organic, inorganic component, we make it to be hydrocarbon resistant. What does that mean? It doesn't dissolve very easily when we reverse all of our actions. Formation damage is the crux of the entire world productivity or injectivity. If we have not investigated, for instance, permeabilities on the order of 1,000 millidarcy or one darcy. Many of the most prolific reservoirs in the world may have permeabilities of this magnitude. Then in that case, it's possible that the dough may actually penetrate the formation itself. And that could be a disaster. But even injectivity can be very problematic because of the presence of dough. And it can be maybe 80% reduced in some cases, we have calculated, okay, which is significant. Most people don't realize the kind of money that we are dealing with. For instance, if you are producing, let's say, a thousand barrels a day, you understand that's a hundred thousand dollars per day. So if you multiply that by 365, that's 37 million dollars per year. If you lose 80% of that, you lose $30 million due to formation damage. A thousand barrels a day is a moderate well offshore, for example. Half of our wells are injector wells. We produce because of injection. Dope is this uncontrollable addition to well completions that nobody really would want. It's very anachronistic in an industry that prides itself of being technologically driven. So dopeless pipes, it's a clear step in the right direction.